If you need to improve your listening skills and you don't have much time, this is the video for you. Hey student, I'm Teacher Pricks and I'm gonna help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Well, let's cut to the chase. You're trying to improve your listening skills and you are a very busy person. Now, even if you are not busy, this is the best way to go if you're trying to improve your listening skills. The first thing you need to understand is how to listen. Unfortunately, with many videos on the internet, a lot of websites on the internet, many teachers, many different schools, we have a tendency to interpret that if you want to improve your listening skills, you need to listen a lot for many hours. And that is not very realistic. You know, I was thinking about this a few weeks ago and I was watching my parents watch Netflix and I began to pay attention and I started talking to my dad and I asked him, hey, uh, do you always watch the shows in English? And he said, yes. Um, how often? And he was like, every day, every day, I watch a little bit of Netflix. I, I like. And then he hit me. It's not about the quantity of hours, the number of hours you spend watching. Because if that were the case, my parents listening would be amazing. Oh, but teacher, they are old. Well, in my academy, I have students who are 60, who are 70, who are 65, who are 68. So age is just a number. But I understand, okay? Of course, they are not studying English. They are watching TV series. The focus is different. But here, it's important that you understand that to have a productive practice, you don't need to spend one hour listening to an audio. You can, if you want, but you will need to be careful with the practice you have. That's why in this video, I want to show you that you can improve your listening a lot by using a three-minute audio. But teacher, where am I going to find a three-minute audio? YouTube. Okay, in my academy, my online program, my students have access to specific listening exercises. But you can also use YouTube if you don't have a course, if you are not in my program. So there are alternatives, there are things you can do. But first you need to understand the concept of listening. It is important to understand the difference of passive listening and active listening. And if you are trying to improve your listening skills, you need to focus on active listening, on really getting down to comprehension. And to do that, the longer the audio is, the more difficult it gets to improve your comprehension. What is passive listening? That's probably what you do every day. You watch a movie, you watch a TV show, you listen to a podcast while you are jogging or exercising at the gym. These are all passive moments. What I'm trying to make you understand is that if you are trying to get better results, you need to be more active with your practice and focus on shorter activities, shorter audios, and that way it'll be easier for you to improve your comprehension. Another important point to why it is better to listen to a three-minute audio instead of a 30-40 minute audio. When you are trying to improve your listening comprehension, you need to focus on the information. That's the key. That's what you're trying to get. And the longer the audio is, the harder it gets to understand so much information especially if you are trying to improve your listening skills. It gets very difficult for the brain to administer so much information, to manage so much information from a 30-minute audio, okay? That's why with a 3-minute audio, you have a more objective uh, video or audio, a more objective piece of information. Uh, if the goal of the video is to teach you how to make a cake, it is very clear what is going to happen in three minutes. While in 30 minutes, it can be very difficult to get main ideas, to get details, because there are many details. And if you are trying to improve your listening, you will need to test your attention to details, okay? A very important point here, the third point, I've already told you two. Basically, guys, when I say you're going to listen to three minutes, I'm not saying you're gonna listen once and go away, okay? Oh, I finished. I listened three times. Oh, I finished. I listened once. Three minutes. 
Done. No. Let's say you have 15 minutes. You can listen to that audio at least four times. Teacher, four times three is 12. Well, I will explain. There are other activities you need to do to make this three-minute practice count, okay? So, let's say you have an hour, you really have an hour. You can repeat this audio many, many times and focusing on different activities. Because believe it or not, a three-minute audio will give you a lot of information and a lot of opportunities of things you can practice. So, really make sure to, uh, if you have time, if you have one hour, if you have 40 minutes, to listen to this audio many times, as many as possible. I'm not saying that you're going to listen to this audio a hundred times. No, but if you have 15 minutes, if you have 20 minutes, there are different things you are going to do with this listening practice that will help you improve different English skills, not only your listening. Because if you are trying to improve your listening just by listening and not doing other supporting activities, your listening will not improve no matter how many times you listen to that audio, okay? Now, I am going to give you an idea of the things you need to do with the three-minute practice. But before I do that, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, okay? That really helps. By using the short audio, you are going to focus on three to four, <laughs> honestly, five different activities. Really, Priscilla, with a three-minute audio? Yes. Firstly, you're going to focus on writing. You are going to take notes as you are listening to that audio. Secondly, you're going to focus on vocabulary. Because it is a shorter audio, it is possible for you to stop and check the new words you don't know because here you are practicing, okay? Thirdly, it is possible for you to practice shadowing, which is basically a pronunciation practice. Of course, you're not learning the phonetics, you're not learning pronunciation in more details, but it does help you improve your intonation and pronunciation. You don't have theory, but you have a more practical way to practice repeating the information you listen to while you are doing the activity. It also helps you work on your grammar, because as you are watching that video, reading the subtitles of a three-minute video or a three-minute audio, checking the transcript, you are able to see grammar in context. And studying grammar passively, because this is a passive way to study grammar, you will be improving as well. Of course, we need to have an active moment for grammar, but here the focus is listening. But by doing this practice, you are, by following this recommendation, you are working on different things. Now, the next and final and perhaps the most important exercise of the night is the comprehension. When you listen to a short audio, my recommendation is you listen once, then you take notes, you check vocabulary, maybe you can write down some words, as you can see uh, on the screen when you are watching the video and you see a word in the subtitles, take notes. Check the meaning of the word, okay? And then test your comprehension. Try to write down some pieces of information, some phrases that help you better understand what you learned from that video. That's the idea of the activity. Second time, Again, practice more comprehension. What other information can you understand now a second time? Third time, okay, now I'm gonna focus on pronunciation. I'm really gonna focus on repeating the audio again and again and again until I see if I understand uh, more easily the information. So now you're focusing on shadowing, pronunciation, repeating aloud as you listen to the audio. Practice writing. You can write down what you understand. Here I'm combining comprehension and writing. Okay, in this audio, the guy is talking about this and then that. Then he explains this. Then he disagrees with that. And this will make your three-minute practice more productive. That's why I say that you will need to repeat because you will be focusing on different activities. So a three-minute practice will be a 15-minute practice if you listen twice and then focus on writing down information, checking the pronunciation of the words. It can be five times, 
Maybe you have uh, 35 minutes, so you listen four times, you listen to the audio four times, then you focus on doing the other activities, like writing down, checking vocabulary, practicing shadowing. So you see, it's about managing your time well and choosing the right kind of practice to follow. You don't need to focus so much of your time on one single activity, listening to an audio that will be exhausting for you to remember. Because when I'm watching a video that is one hour, because I do that, I, I watch videos that are long. It is hard. I need to repeat again. So maybe I watch it again and I, then later I try to watch a small part again because I know it's a longer exercise and it will require more from me. But I am at a different level from you. Okay, so I use different strategies on myself. I'm at a different moment in my journey. Okay, so this is what I do with my BSA in my academy because I know that's the best way. The secret to make your listening practice work is to analyze the materials you use. Working on identifying key points, taking notes, analyzing new words, describing the information you listen to, writing down about what you listen, even recording yourself describing what you have just listened. That is much easier and more productive than simply watching a long video or listening to a very long audio. Now, BSA, my students in my online program. If you are watching this video, I have just posted in our group, our Facebook group, an activity, a listening activity for you guys to do something extra that I have created based on today's lesson. You already have many listening exercises in the academy, but I decided to bring you something extra. It's in the community, you know, on Facebook, on our Facebook group. So check it out and let me know what you think. Other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!